Good morning. It's Saturday morning here. Uh, this is day six of our self-isolation and I have a guest joining me today. Ian is going to be doing the practice today and I will talk him through it. Um, today we'll be practicing focusing on something we call ankle loop and skull and uh, shin loop. Ankle loop is where you lift your toes and activate the arches of your feet so that you can get stronger through your legs to support you. And shin loop is where you soften your knees so the tops of your shin bones come forward to protect your knees. So I'm going to cue a lot of that through the practice today as we move into balancing practice. And um, as we come into this day six of our isolation, with so much uncertainty, we just keep practicing letting go. And every exhale becomes a beautiful reminder to let go. So in your practice today, try to let go of any anticipation of the poses. Let go of any tension that you're holding. Let go of the holding of the breath. Like notice when you stop exhaling and see if you can deepen your exhalation. And thank you, Ian, for joining me this morning. So I'll invite you to close your eyes and begin to notice where you need to let go. Where are you holding tension in your body? Where is the uncertainty of these days being locked in your body? And can you begin to soften, soften your muscles, soften your bones, and soften into your breath. Your yoga practice is a beautiful opportunity to teach you, to let your mat teach you what and where you need to let go. So can you become a student for the next little bit that you're practicing? Listen to your mat, listen to your breath, and stay soft in your heart. Begin to feel your breath moving in and out. Notice where it lands in your body. And place your hands at your heart center. Bow in slightly. As you breathe in through your nose, draw in, lengthen your breath. Pause at the top of your inhalation. Exhale, open your mouth, sigh. Do this a couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, breathe in. And out. And continue to breathe, but this time close your lips, seal your lips, and let the breath soften out through your nostrils. When we start to learn to let go of what we no longer need to hold on to, of things that are outside of our control, of tension and tightness and stories and narratives, when we learn to let go, we begin to awaken to the potential of joy and strength and beauty that's always available to us. Take one more breath. Gently release your hands. Transition to a tabletop on your hands and knees for cat-cow. Curl your toes under. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your sitting bones. Exhale, curl your chin in, spine to the sky, deep cat stretch. Inhale, drop your belly, look forward, lengthen. Exhale into your cat stretch. Stay present to your breath. Your breath is your conduit to let go. Three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. Drop your belly. And exhale into your cat stretch. Inhale to your neutral spine. Exhale, extend your right leg behind you and your left arm forward. Your left thumb is now pointing to the sky. Stretch through your fingers, stretch through your leg. Inhale 
and exhale, curl in, elbow and knee touch. Good, one more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhale, extend, keep your leg extended, release your left hand to your mat. Good, bend your right knee and open your right knee to the right side of your mat. So you're doing little hip pulsations, yeah. Good, now inhale, extend your leg. Exhale, bend your knee, open and stack your hips once more. Good, inhale, extend your leg. Exhale, bend your knee, open and stack your hips. Nice guys. Inhale, extend your leg. Exhale, release your head, hand or release your foot. Take one cycle of cat-cow breathing. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, curl in, beautiful. Inhale to your neutral spine. And exhale your left leg behind you, right arm forward. Breathe to lengthen. Exhale, curl in, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Good, one more time, inhale, extend. Keep your leg extended, drop your right hand, bend your left knee, open and stack your hips. Good, inhale, return your leg straight, lengthen. Exhale, curl, bend your knee, open and stack your hips, starting to open up. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, curl and open. Good, inhale, extend your leg. Exhale, release your knee to the ground. Lift your hips up, find downward facing dog, lift into an inverted V. Keep a generous bend through your knees. Notice if there's any tightness in your hamstrings or in your calves that are longing to let go and pedal through your heels. Good. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Find stillness on your next in breath. Soften your knees, look to the top of your mat and exhale forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extend your arms to the sky. Exhale, your hands to your heart center. Now find stability through your feet. Anchor down through the ball mound of your big toe, the inner heel, the ball mound of your baby toe and your outer heel. And as the ball mounds of your feet are supporting you, you notice you don't have to grip so much with your toes. You can let go and float your toes away from the ground. You'll feel the arches of your feet begin to lift up. I like to call this saving your fairies. Imagine there's a fairy living under the arches of your feet and every time you lift the arches, you give them space to breathe. Take a deep breath, pull the energy from the earth all the way up to your shin bones and draw the tops of your shins forward. So you create a micro bend in your knees, good. And if you tend to believe that you are already doing it, do it a little bit more, exaggerate the motion, beautiful. And now the energy from the earth pulls up through your legs, inhale, extend your arms all the way up to the sky. Now as you exhale and fold, keep your knees soft, keep your arches lifted, toes lifted. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers to your shin bones. Exhale, forward fold, good. Do that one more time, inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center and alongside your waist. Keep your knees soft. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Notice how Ian's toes stay lifted, his arches are lifted. Inhale, halfway lift as he places his fingers onto his shins. It's a reminder to pull the tops of the shins forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, little switch up. Inhale, reach up. Keep your knees soft, toes lifted. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into a high plank position, top of a push up. Now in a high plank position, we don't have to worry so much about the arches of the feet and the shin bones. They take care of themselves, but lift your inner thighs a little higher, squeeze your low belly in. Inhale, slide your torso forward a centimeter or so. Exhale, lower down to the earth. Knees can come down first if you wish. Inhale, untuck your toes, push into the tops of your feet. Lift your torso gently away from the ground, shine your heart forward. Exhale, curl over your toes, up and back into a downward facing dog. Good, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, open and stack your hips. Good, firm your left thigh as much as you can, nice. And then gaze under your left armpit. Beautiful, inhale, extend your right leg back behind you and exhale, drop your right foot to the ground, meet your left foot. Inhale, left foot lifts. Exhale, bend your knee, open and stack. Good, gaze under your right armpit so your shoulders stay stacked, one more breath. Inhale, extend your leg straight back and exhale, release your foot to the ground. Take one cycle of breath in and out. Soften your knees, look to the top of your mat, step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, reach to the sky, keep your toes lifted, your arches active, your knees soft. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, keeping your toes as strong, make sure that your inner lining of your foot is as heavy as the outer lining of your foot. Sit down into an imaginary chair and inhale, float your arms up. Good, exhale, forward fold, down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step or float into a high plank. Good, inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, nice and slow. Inhale, untuck your toes, push into the tops of your feet to lift your torso. Relax your shoulders down and back. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, open and stack your hips. Good, inhale, extend your leg back. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. Crescent lunge, inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Stretch through your fingers. Little book place, little space between your arms as though you're holding a big beach ball. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, release your hands, step your right foot to the back, high plank. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, tops of your feet are heavy as you lift your torso, elbows soft. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, bend your left knee, open and stack your hips. Right thighs strong, yes. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. Full crescent lunge, inhale your arms to the sky. Now see if you can float to your left toes away from the ground. And keep your left knee right over your ankle as you stretch through your fingers for one more breath. Inhale, hands reach the ground. Step back into high plank. Breathe in, engage your belly. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, down to the earth. Inhale, lift up into your cobra, maybe upward dog, hips and thighs might come off the ground. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath. Good. Inhale, soften your knees and your elbows. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Beautiful, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Keep your arms extended. Good, stretch through your fingers. Anchor through the inner lining of your feet. Lift your toes, soften your shin bones. Take a deep breath in. Maybe come into a gentle back bend. Really nice, one more breath, lift your heart. Inhale, extend your arms to the sky. Notice how Ian keeps his knees soft and his toes lifted. Now exhale, hands to heart center. See if you can soften your toes to the ground, but keep your arches active. So you're imagining hugging the front of your foot to the back of your foot and the back of your foot to the front of your foot. But your toes now soften without gripping. Inhale, release your arms alongside you. Exhale, squeeze your shoulders. Good, inhale, extend your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, plant your hands. Step back with your right leg. Drop your right knee to the ground. Good, back toes stay curled under. Inhale, extend your arms up to the sky. 
would bring a little bit more space between your arms. Pinkies turn inwards, thumbs slightly out. Feel your shoulders engage. And now lift your front toes away from the ground. Feel the arches of your foot lift away from the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Perhaps lift your heart a little bit. Lean back. Come into a gentle back bend. Beautiful. Inhale. Reach your arms high. Exhale, release your hands to your low back waist. Squeeze your shoulders towards each other. Inhale, float your back knee off the ground. Interlace your hands. Breathe in, firm your back thigh. Lift your front toes. Exhale, fold to the inside of your front foot. Good. Shoulders continue to squeeze. Front shin hugs the midline. Good, toes stay lifted on your front toes or at least not gripping, letting go. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more breath. Feel what needs to release and let it go with your exhale. Inhale. Return your hands to the ground. Exhale. Step back into a downward facing dog. Good. Take a moment to settle into your dog to reset. Inhale, same leg lifts. Reach up. Exhale, bend your knee, open and stack your hips. Firm your left thigh. Inhale, extend your legs straight back behind you. And exhale, come into a high plank, knee find your chest. Good. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, bend and open. <laughs> Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to belly, high plank. Good. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open your hips, stack your hips, good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to belly, hold here, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, extend your legs straight back behind you. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Step your left foot forward between your hands and fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale your hands to heart center and come back to your foundation. When you find the ability to stabilize and ground, it becomes possible to let go. So feel the energy, the strength in your legs, pull the energy from the ground into your thighs, right through your calf muscles, good, right into your hips. Inhale, part your lips, exhale, H-A, let go. Good. Release your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back with your left leg. Drop your left knee to the ground. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Low crescent lunge. Float your toes away from the ground slightly. So we're exaggerating that action today so you can start to feel what happens when you learn to activate the arches of your feet? There are muscles there that you might not even have been aware of. Now squeeze your legs towards each other as though your front heel wants to drag back and your back knee forward. Lift your heart from the stability and strength that you've created. Feel how easy it is to let go. Lean back and open your heart. Take another breath in. And out. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release your hands behind you. Interlace your hands and float your back knee off the ground. Good, lengthen your shoulders towards, to squeeze your shoulders towards each other, lengthen your hands away from you. Inhale, exhale, fold to the inside of your right leg. Good, your right big toe is heavy. The big toe mound is heavy on the ground. There'll be a tendency for your foot to want to fall open, but can you commit to stabilizing the inner lining of your right foot Left heel lifts right over your toes. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Release your hands. Frame your foot. Step back into downward dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Inhale. Float your same leg up once more. Left leg lifts. Exhale. Bend your knee. Open and stack your hips. 
Inhale, extend your leg, good. Right leg is so strong. Exhale, pull your left knee into your belly, high plank. Inhale, extend back. This is a good time to turn up your breath. Exhale, bend your knee, open and stack. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to belly, high plank. One more time, inhale, reach back, hands are firm. Exhale, bend and open up. Beautiful, inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to belly. Good, inhale, extend your legs straight back behind you and step your foot forward between your hands. Step your right foot to follow. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, forward. For a moment, grab opposite elbows and let your body drip. Soften your toes away from the ground, feel the arches activate. Bend your knees perhaps more generously than you had planned on doing to release any tension in your back and just let your head drip forward. Maybe sway from side to side. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more breaths. Inhale, fingertips to your shin bones, shin bones forward. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step or float back into a high plank. Inhale, slide forward and exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, untuck your toes, gently push into your hands, lift your torso. Exhale, lower down, stay on the ground. Walk your fingers off of your mat, tense your fingers like treetops. Elbows lift, shoulders lift towards each other, push into your feet, inhale, lift your torso. Exhale, lower down. Good, one more time. Inhale, lift your torso, shine your heart forward. Gaze follows your heart, chin is humble. Exhale, lower down. Place your hands back onto your mat, palms flat under your shoulders, curl your toes under, lift up into downward facing dog and find your breath. Good. Inhale, float your right leg up high behind you. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Drop your left heel. Open up into warrior two, so you're in a front heel to back arch alignment. Ensure that your back toes are facing the left side of your mat. Your front toes are facing the front of your mat. And then lunge into your front knee and stack your knee over your hips. Breathe your shoulders onto your back. Inhale. Arms extend, fingers spread wide, gaze over your front fingers, exhale. Good. Inhale, drop your back hand, flip your front arm, reverse your warrior, reach up, stretch through your fingers. Keep your knee right over your ankle, soften your breath wherever you need to take it. Inhale, extend your arms out once more. And exhale, release your front forearm to your front thigh. Extend your left arm all the way up and over. And it's as though your hand is high-fiving the universe, trusting that the universe has your back and you can let go. There's things you can just let go right now that you don't need to hold anymore. Let it be held for you. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more breath. Inhale back to warrior two. Drop your back hand, flip your front arm, reverse your warrior, left thigh strongly stretching behind you. Very nice. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Reach forward with your right fingertips. Land your right fingertips onto your blocker, onto the mat. Left arm stretches up and over. Reach tall through your fingers. Breathe your shoulders towards each other. Inhale. Exhale, right fingers are light, front toes are light. Squeeze your legs towards each other. One more breath. Good, inhale, come back to warrior two. Lunge into your front leg. Place your left hand on your left thigh. Reach your right fingertips forward for your block. Slide your block to the top front corner of your mat. And inhale, float your left leg up. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Option to extend your left arm, your left arm to the sky. Is that your left arm? Mm-hmm. Flex your toes on your lifted leg towards your body. 
Flex your toes on your standing leg towards your body. Feel as though your leg is pushing into a wall and the wall is pushing your leg back into your torso. One more breath. Good, now hold right here or pull your knee into your torso. Reach back for your hand for the front of your ankle and begin to kick your leg back. Flex your toes away from your heel. Kick your leg back, breathe in. Breathe out, sugar cane. Good, one more breath. Notice if your front knee is locked, soften. Inhale, extend your left leg, reach your arm back to the sky. One breath, beautiful guys. Exhale, release your leg back into a warrior two. Step back. Arms extend, yeah. Take a few moments if you need to transition, lunge into your front leg, reset. Warrior two is your chance to reconnect with your breath. Good, inhale. Exhale, release your hands, frame your front foot, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come into your version of your back bend. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, release down to your knees. Good, spin your right foot so it's facing the wall behind you. Extend your left leg and reach your left arm up to the sky. Variation one of your side plank. Outer edge of your left foot is firm. Squeeze your shoulders down towards each other and from that place extend through your fingers. Breathe in, breathe out. You can stay right here or you can float your left leg off the ground. Inhale and exhale. You can stay here or you can bend your left heel towards your buttocks. Reach back and find the front of your ankle if that's available to you. No worries if it's not, breathe in. Exhale, good. Inhale, return your hand to the ground, both knees to the ground, lift up into downward facing dog and breathe. Same leg, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee open and stack your hips. Now firm your left leg even more. Let your left heel become heavy. Reach down to the earth with your left heel and open up your hip. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, extend your left right leg. Exhale, release it down to the ground. Good. Soften your knees. Look to the top of your mat and exhale, make your way forward. Journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Stretch through your fingers, second standing back bend. Spin your fingers inwards as you reach your fingers to the sky, yes. Anchor down through your feet, lift your toes, feel the arches activate, bring the tops of your shin bones forward, drop your shoulders, inhale, reach through your fingers. Imagine leaning back into the supportive hand of the universe. This is where grace has your back, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach tall through your fingers. Exhale your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes for a moment and connect with your breath. Let go of the things that no longer serve you. Inhale. Part your lips. Exhale, H-A. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Take a big step back with your left foot. Good, turn your right toes and your left toes to face the camera. Good, and then turn your left toes to face the back of your mat. So moving into warrior two on this side, windmill your arms front and back. Front heel to back arch alignment. So if you were to draw a line from the front of your heel to the middle of the back of your arch, there's an interception. Lunge into your front leg, float your toes away from the ground, breathe your shoulders towards each other and inhale. 
and exhale. Good. Inhale, flip your front arm, drop your back arm, reach up and over. Exhale, back into warrior two. Keep your right thigh strong. Inhale, drop your hand, flip your arm. Exhale, back into warrior two. Good. Release your left forearm now to your front thigh. Reach your right arm overhead, stretch to the windows. Keep your right thigh strong. Fingers spread wide, reaching beyond imagination for something just out of your reach. As you find your breath, gaze up, shoulders stack. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back into warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Good, inhale back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Trikonasana, triangle, reach forward. Fingers find your block. Right arm to the sky. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Firmly drawing your right thigh back. Squeeze your shoulders. Soften into your breath. Good. Inhale back to warrior two for a moment. Bend into your front knee. And exhale. Release your left forearm back. Left fingers back to your block. Slide your block forward. Right hand can come to your waist for a moment. Adjust yourself so you don't hit any walls and float your back leg up. Good. And as soon as your back leg lifts, see if you can peek down to make sure that it is not hanging in the back of your body, but it's actually coming out right from the line of your hips. You should be able to see the front of your ankle if you gaze down. Now imagine you're pushing your leg into a wall and the wall is pushing your leg back in. Reach your arm to the sky, breathe, maybe gaze lifts, push even further, firmer through your hand or through your foot into my hand. Yeah, keep going. Breathe in, push hard. That's it. Breathe out. Beautiful. Move to sugar cane now. Please bend your knee. Reach your hand for the front of your ankle. Flex your toes away from your, from your heel. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe out. Awesome. You're doing great, Ian. Inhale. Extend back into half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Good. Steady with your breath. And exhale, release back into warrior two, foot to the back of your mat. Take as much space as you need, readjust, lunge into your front leg, fingers, arms extending. Good, hold for one more breath. Inhale, return your hands to frame your front foot. Pivot your back heel, step back into a high plank. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Good, untuck your toes, push into your toes. Inhale, lift up, shoulders draw back, heart is forward. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Very nice. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release down to your knees. Hero pose. So take your knees a little bit wider than hip distance. Actually, bring them a little closer if you can. I know, I know that you're a little bit tight. So just be in line with your hips and then open up your shins so they're on a diagonal, sitting on a block as needed. Point your toes straight back. So when you look back, your toes are along the same line as your knees. Inhale, exhale, stay here sitting on the block or begin to lean back onto your forearms or perhaps all the way down onto your back. Breathe into the tightness or any tension. Inhale, really nice. And exhale. And even as you come into your back bend, keep a, some humbleness or humility with your chin drawing down so you're not dropping your neck fully back, which creates a lot of tension in your, in your neck. And back. Really nice option to use a block. Good, inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Good. Now, if you're all the way down on your back, come onto your forearms first and gently make your way up to a seated position. Remove your block. Sit tall onto your knees so your toes will now be curled under. Place your hands in your back pocket. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. Inhale, lengthen your heart up towards the sky. And then exhale, keep your chin in slightly as you lean your heart up 
and maybe back. Shoulders connect, breath is filling into the back of your body. Hands can stay on your back pocket or they can reach for your heels as you inhale, lift your heart, hug your shins to the midline. Trust that something is holding you, holding all of us in this time of uncertainty, in this time of um, just a little bit of chaos, that there's something holding us and asking of us to let go, to connect, to be present. Inhale, slowly come out of your back bend. Exhale, sit your hips to your heels. Keep your toes curled under for a moment. That's a really nice fascial stretch for the bottoms of your feet. Place your hands to your heart center. Breathe in. And breathe out. Letting go gives us freedom. And freedom is the only condition for happiness. If in our hearts, we still cling on to anything, anger, anxiety, or fear, we cannot be free. Thich Nhat Hanh. Inhale, come forward into a tabletop position. Exhale, lift your hips into your dog pose. Good, inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, open and stack your hips. You're welcome to stay right here or flip your dog. Let your right foot touch the ground. Keep your right knee bent, extend your left leg, lift your hips, your left arm is heavy. Reach your right arm to the front of your mat. Maybe your gaze, your heart follows. Breathe in, keep your hips high, breathe out. Good, inhale slowly, bring your leg back up to the sky, hand to the ground, release your right foot along your left foot and take a breath. Good, wild thing on the other side, inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, open and stack your hips, choose to stay here or flip your dog. Keep your left knee bent, extend your right leg, lift your hips, breathe your heart up, reach your fingers, inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale, release your left hand, float your left leg back up. And exhale, back into dog. Good, take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Inhale and exhale. Last breath in and out. Good. Release your knees to the ground. Keep your toes curled under. Sit your hips to your heels. Walk your hands forward and tend your fingers, puppy dog. And in your puppy dog, lift the underlining of your arms, your elbows as high as you can so your shoulders can connect and you can melt the back of your heart. This is one way that you can let go. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. One more breath. Inhale forward into a tabletop and come all the way down onto your belly to transition onto your back. Bend your knees, pull them into your chest, rock from side to side. And then drop your feet to your mat as wide as your mat. And windshield washer your legs to your left and to your right. And the next time your knees fall to your right, hold them here. You can extend your arms wide. And gaze can move to your left side. Breathe in. Breathe out. your belly slightly to come back to center. Windshield washing your knees to your left and to your right. And the next time your knees come to your left, hold them there. Gaze to your right. Let your back body become heavy. Begin to let go of your breath.
inhale back to center. Keep your feet as wide as your mat, tent your knees inwards. Relax your arms along the side, your palms face up. Begin to rest into your breath, into your body. Deepak Chopra says, in the process of letting go, you will lose many things from the past, but you will find yourself. And I'd love to rephrase that and change the but to an and. So in the process of letting go of the past, you will lose many things and you will find yourself. Extend your legs, let your toes fall out, Shavasana. So we'll hold a two minute Shavasana together and then come out of it together. Inhale, come back into your body. Notice if there's any place, any tension, anything that needs to let go. Awaken your fingers and your toes with gentle movements. Inhale, reach your arms overhead and your toes in the opposite direction. Let your feet come hip distance apart. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> Pull your knees in towards your chest. Rock from side to side. Make your way onto your left side. Slowly transition to a seated posture, perhaps sitting onto a block. Once there, hands find your heart center. Breathe in. Arch your lips, exhale, H-A. We'll do it four part breath, so breathe in for a count of four. Pause for a count of four. Three, two, one. Part your lips, exhale for a count of four. And pause for four. Three, two, one. Do that one more time, inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. And relax. And bow into your heart. And acknowledge the time that you've taken to practice letting go. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with us today. 
Thank you, Ian, for being an incredibly present yogi. The light in me acknowledges and bows to the light within each of you. Namaste. Namaste. Have a great day, everybody.